Hi, I'm Eric Hubdy, Chairman of SunWest Bank. Recently, the yield curve, which is the difference between short-term rates and long-term rates, inverted. What does that mean? It means short-term T-bill rates and one- and three-month LIBOR rates are actually higher than five- and ten-year Treasury yields. Why has this caused the financial market so much concern? Because every time the U.S. economy has gone into recession, the yield curve has inverted prior to that. But what is causing the yield curve to invert when the U.S. economy just wrapped up one of its best years of growth in over 11 years and the unemployment rate is at an all-time low? It is that the financial markets are projecting out where the U.S. economy may be in 12 to 18 months from now. But to be more specific, I really think it's a global growth story, and that is Many European economies have already entered into recession or at a very slow growth mode. Germany, as an example, has grown at a slower rate than it has at any time in the last 10 years to where the 10-year German Bund is actually trading at a negative yield. That means if you buy a 10-year German Bund, you are actually paying money to hold that asset. However, I think even a bigger issue than Europe is China. China has clearly been a big engine to the global growth story over the last 20 years. China has slowed marketably over the last 12 months, and some even say that it may be in recession right now. So between Europe being in recession and China having slowed considerably, if they can't turn around, then it may very well pull the U.S. economy into recession. So what is my prediction? It's too early to tell right now. But remember at the beginning, I said that every time the U.S. economy has gone into recession, the yield curve has inverted prior to that? Well, not every time that the yield curve has inverted has the U.S. economy gone into recession. Over 80% of the times it has. I really think it's going to come back to China. China's taking many measures to try to reflate its economy. If they're successful in doing that, then I think we will see the yield curve uninvert and get back to a more normal sloping level. If they're not successful in that attempt, then I think between Europe, China, it will eventually drag the U.S. economy into recession in 12 or 18 months. Let's hope that's not the case. Thank you for your time.